The New England fishing industry is older than America itself. It's been my way of life pretty much my entire life. I've always found ways to cope with whatever curves nature threw at me. Now, it's my own government that's, that's putting me out of business. My name is David Gaithel. I've been an active fisherman for 49 years. Fishing is, is a way of life, for not only for the, for the fishermen, but for, for their entire family. My kids both participated in fishing as they were growing up. I used to tell people, when you fish, you're never gonna get rich, but you'll never starve. And that's basically the lifestyle it's provided. In the early part of my career, we worked with the government. We had a common goal. We wanted to make our lives better and make sure we had sustainable populations of fish. Somewhere in the last 10 years or so, that equation's gotten out of balance. Government regulation has made it nearly impossible for small boats like myself to, to survive. In addition to that, we have to now pay for these so-called at-sea monitors. Essentially, this is like paying to have your own state trooper ride to work with you to make sure you don't exceed the speed limit. They watch you put the net out and haul it back up, and then they go out and watch the crew sort the catch. When the at-sea monitoring program was set up, the government said, okay, we're gonna pay for these observers, but we won't pay for them forever. And then last year, they basically said, we've run out of money, uh, you have to pay for these people. And oh, by the way, if you don't pay for them, you can't work anymore. It's estimated at $710 per day at sea. There are probably maybe a half a dozen people that can absorb the cost, and they're all at the larger end of the spectrum. Absent something happening to change this, we can't survive much longer. We just can't afford it. We're represented by a group called Cause of Action. If it wasn't for them, this suit could have never been brought. The immediate short-term goal is elimination of having to pay for at-sea monitors, having the government force us to pay for them. This lawsuit is a lot of fishermen's last chance at staying in their chosen profession. It's hard to explain to your family why your business is being taken away from you. It's not my incompetence, it's not my inability to catch fish, it's not my inability to run a business. I've run a successful business here for a long, long time, but I, I cannot survive this battle. <laughs>